Hello again! Today I am going to be showing you my everyday makeup. Um, this is going to be my first tutorial and I hope you guys like it. Um, it's very natural, very simple, quick and easy. Um, this is what I typically do with my face every day. Um, the foundation may change, but all the techniques that I use in this video is what I typically do on a daily basis. So if you like to see this look, Hopefully you can see it. It's just an easy wing liner. And yeah, so if you like this look, stay tuned for the tutorial. Okay, so first I'm going to start with my Hourglass Ambient Lighting and Diffuse Light. Looks like this. Sorry the lighting's kind of off, but bear with me. Um, I actually put a powder on before my foundation just because I find it to it helps um, lock in my foundation like a primer um, but I'm just not using a primer so I'm gonna start with just a light dusting all over the face like so okay once that's done I'm going to be using my NARS sheer matte foundation in the color Stromboli. Stromboli. Um, I like this foundation. I have very oily skin. So I'm going to start with just dabbing the color all around my face first. I like to concentrate on my cheeks because that's why I usually turn pink more. My nose and then just spread it around my forehead area and just everywhere else that I need to ensure that I have an even coverage. And then I'm going to go in with my Sigma Flat Top Kabuki Brush, the F80. And I'm just going to start blending in my foundation. Um, I really like this foundation brush. It's very soft, it's very dense. And what I like about Sigma brushes is that they're super affordable. Um, cause I have some MAC brushes, but those run a little pricier than I would like. Um, so yeah, if you don't have any Sigma brushes, I would suggest you go look into it. Um, they're really affordable. You can get a whole kit for a decent amount of money. That's really good. So, I'm just going to continue blending. And then if I have any like blemishes or just old acne scars, um, I'll go in with my NARS Creamy Concealer in the color Custard. Um, this is a really good concealer too. Um, it stays really well and it blends really nicely so I feel like it's a, a NARS tutorial, but it's not. <laughs> Just my base. I'm just going to tap it in. Oh, there's something there. Um, just tapping the spots in. It helps the color stay concentrated wherever you put it. If you just tap it in versus rubbing it in and spreading it all over. Just keep tapping it in until you find it to be very blended in. Cause you don't want like you know your concealer showing on top of your foundation or just not having your makeup blended in it's not very flattering if that happens let's get it down a little bit okay there and then i'm going to use my Too faced primed and poreless loose powder that i like to use I have a loose powder, tap off the excess, and then just pat it on to my foundation and concealer. Blend it in. It helps lock in your foundation so it doesn't go sliding around, especially for me since I get pretty oily as the day goes on. This actually helps a lot. Now moving on to the eyes, I'm going to be using my Urban Decay Primer Potion. This, it's really old, so I think this 
the color of this one is Sin. Um, it's a champagne one, so I like it because if you're in a hurry, it's really easy to just slap this on and go without any eyeshadow. So I'm just going to spin it all over my eyelids. You don't really need that much for both eyes. I just use a little, a little drop for both of my eyelids. And eye primer really helps in keeping your eye makeup on all day. So then I'm going to go in with some bronzer for my eyeshadow. I know it's weird, but sometimes I just like to, you know, use bronzer. The one I'm using today is the Too Faced Char Chocolate Soleil in Medium Deep. And of course you probably all know about this one. Um, I love this bronzer because it smells like chocolate. It's like you can eat it. <laughs> Which I probably don't recommend, but it smells delicious. Um, so what I like to do with the bronzer is to first use it in my crease on my eye and I'm going to be using the Taper Blending E35 by Sigma. Um, it's going to go into my crease and just windshield wiper motion back and forth into the crease just to give it some definition, some color. Just blend, blend, blend. You can make this as dark or as light as you like. It's all up to you. This is just how I like to do it. There. And then I'm going to go back in with my small contour brush, the F05 by Sigma. Um, and I'm going to use this to contour my face. So it's like a multitasking makeup product that I like to use. It's just my bronzer, as like my eyeshadow, and you know, to lightly contour, so you just contour the hollows of your cheeks so you can do the fishy face. Or, I mean, if you know where, you know, the size of your cheekbones are, then you don't even have to make the face. And this just adds, you know, some definition. I like to bring up to my temples a little bit. Just a little bit on my forehead, just going around briefly and lightly. And then just a little bit on my jawline, just to further contour the face. This thing smells so delicious. I love it. Now we're going back to the eyes. Um, so I'm going to be doing a wing liner, uh, which is my favorite. It's like my everyday look as I always have a cat eye liner because it's my favorite and I think it's flattering especially for my eye shape. So I'm going to go in with the Physician's Formula um, Eye Booster um, Lash Boosting Eyeliner and Serum. Um, what I love about this is that it's really easy to use. It's just a little brush tip and you have really good control. So it's hopefully I can stay within the camera. So I'm just going to Draw a nice thin line first on top of my eyelid. And then for the wing, I'm just going to look at my eye and see where my lower lash line is and just follow that up towards the tip of my eyebrow. Just point it up. And then I'm going to just draw my little line going back to create a little wedge at the corner of the eye. I don't think you can see that. <laughs> As to the other eye. Sometimes it's really tricky to get, you know, your two eyes even. It just takes some practice. I mean, there are days where I even mess up a lot because <laughs> it's not always like the easiest thing, but you'll get it. If not, you can always just go over the Q-tip with some makeup remover and just, you know, fix it back up. So let's see. Let's try to get this eye as even as possible. Make my little flick. And the little wedge at the end. Look at my two eyes, if they're even, leave it. 
not, then I would go usually go back and fix it, but I think it looks pretty good. So now that that's done, I'm going to be doing my mascara. And the mascara that I'll be using today is my heroin makeup, the long curl mascara. Um, this is the Japanese brand. Um, you can find this probably online on Amazon. Um, this one was $18, $19. It's kind of pricey, but it's super waterproof and it holds my curl. And I have, you know, the typical straight, sparse Asian lashes. So they need a lot of help when I want to keep them curled. Um, so it's a really good mascara and I recommend it for, you know, anybody who has you know, curling, lash curling issues like I do. Um, so I'm going to go in with my Lancome eyelash curler. Just going to go into the base, hold it for a few seconds, pump it, and then do the other eye, hold that for a few seconds. My boyfriend always looks at me funny when I'm always curling my eyelashes because, you know, I guess these things look like torture devices, which, I mean, they can be if you accidentally pinch your eyel like eyelid, which I have done. Go back and get that really curled. And now I'm going to go into my mascara. So I have to lean my head back, look down, and wiggle my brush into my lashes. Wiggle and flick up. This mascara is also really good at defining and separating your lashes. Wiggle, flick. And there you go. Hey, okay, nice long curled lashes. Now I'm going to go in and finish off my face. Be using the Balm Instant, not Instant, Instain, um, powder blush. And the color I'm using is Swiss Thought. This is actually my first time using this blush. For spring and summer, I really like to go for my peachy pink colors. A little brighter. Cool. So then I'm going to put this on the apples of my cheeks. I like to pat first to get where I want it. On both sides. And smiling helps, brings out your cheekbones, you can find them easier. And then I like to blend it out a little. Blend it down and up towards my temples. Then I'm going to highlight. And I'm going to go back with my ambient lighting diffuse light again. I'm just going to take my Sigma Taper Face Brush, the F25. Just get a little bit on there. Tap. I'm going to put on the high points of my cheekbones and up my temples a little bit. Just to bring some light and glow. I really like this stuff. It's very subtle. Then whatever's left in the brush, I just like to bring it down my nose, my chin right above my eyebrows. Cool. Um, typically, if I'm in a rush or if it's just like a normal day, I don't really like to do my brows because mainly I'm lazy. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'll just do it. I like using the Benefit Gimme Brow. It's this cute little tube. And it's a brow gel with a tiny little brush and it works really well. Um, it's quick to just, you know, darken your brows a bit, and if you have any unruly hairs, it helps put them all into place, and there. Now I'm going to finish off with a MAC lipstick, and the color I'm using today is Fanfare, which is this pretty, like, pinky fuchsia color. Um, it's really good for every day. And there you have it. My easy everyday makeup. I like to go pretty minimal. It was just an everyday, just, you know, give my face some life and color and just be ready for the day. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. 
Um, and if you did, please like and subscribe down below. And stay tuned for, you know, future videos that come up on my channel. Thanks. Bye.